Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Driven Wild. Today, we are talking about Dasher Red Card on DoorDash. So, with all of the tools and resources that are at your disposal on DoorDash, one of them is the Dasher Red Card. And while it can be a useful tool for some orders and actually completing some orders, there are a lot of things that aren't said about the Red Card enough in order to properly make maintain your account status so with that said i want to go over everything you must know about the dasher red card what they tell you or so it actually is and everything in between but before we do that let's go over a quick disclaimer the content of this video does not contain is never intended to be legal business financial tax or health advice of any kind this video is for entertainment purposes only it is advised that you conduct your own research and consult with qualified professionals before applying anything you find online i also want to be clear that everything I'm going to go over in this video is market dependent to a certain degree and what applies to me in my market may not apply to you. So with that said, let's get started. The red card is a prepaid card that dashers use for some but not all DoorDash orders. Each dasher receives a red card during orientation or when they receive a welcome kit. You know, it's funny because I don't think there are DoorDash offices anymore for orientation to take place and orientation was just you sitting in a room with a slideshow now i think they just send you a welcome kit now and say figure it out which great thanks for that your earnings will not be deposited on the red card and is not linked to your bank account the money from your red card is not your money it's the money that DoorDash is providing to fulfill certain orders. Setting up red card on iOS. In the Dasher app, tap account. On top of the next page, tap the red colored link. That states, did DoorDash give you a payment card? Enter your new card's delight number and the last four digits. Which the delight number would be where the name on the card would be. And the last four digits of the card, if you don't know what that means, I don't know how to help you. Learn how cards work before using them. Setting up red card on Android. Tap menu icon located in the top left corner and select red card from drop down. Enter your new card's delight number and the last four digits. So if you're an Android user, you obviously have a hamburger menu and you should know how to navigate your app. What if I have trouble setting up my red card? A few things to keep in mind before trying to set up the card. One, if you have not completed the entire sign up process and received a welcome message from DoorDash stating that your account is activated, please wait a few more days before trying again. Yeah, so if you haven't started on DoorDash yet or you're still on the wait list, you're not gonna be able to put in a red card, obviously. Before setting up the card, make sure that you are connected to Wi-Fi. If the card is failing, force quit your Dasher app and wait about 30 seconds to relaunch it. As you can probably imagine, and I'm sure you've heard this everywhere, the Dasher app itself is super glitchy. So if you need to restart the app a few times, we all get it. If the app freezes or gives you error messages, try uninstalling and reinstalling the app. The latest version of the app may not have the bug you encountered. So basically, make sure your apps are up to date, and if there's more problems still, uninstall and reinstall. It's the app equivalent of turning the phone on and off again. And that's also a thing you could do. Using your red card. Only use the red card to pay when prompted by the Dasher app. The app may say pay with red card or place order. Which again, that's going to look something like this, which is going to be obvious when it does. It's going to look similar to how the catering label is or the pizza bag label is, except it's just going to say red card. You can only use the red card to pay for a DoorDash order at the correct time at the correct restaurant. The card will only charge the correct amount of money due to the restaurant, which is not entirely accurate. There's a little wiggle room, but DoorDash is known for having the red card decline at the worst possible time. We're going to talk a little bit about that later. Always choose credit as a payment method. Ignore the fact that the card says debit. When in Rome, just say credit. If you do choose the debit option accidentally, you can use 0000 as the pit. Or you could cancel out of the transaction, restart, and you can use credit that way. But who are we to judge? Do not add a tip when paying with the red card. And you don't need to keep receipts unless the order requests you keep 
the receipt. Please do not give your red card receipts to the customer. So keep receipts or throw them out. It doesn't matter. But either way, they don't go to the customer. And never tip the restaurant because that's not your money to tip with, you know? DoorDash will make sure the card is funded correctly and you don't have to worry about discrepancies between the total on the receipt and the total in your Dash or app because DoorDash knows the correct amount. B.S. There are so many times where inflation has taken such a toll and because of that, the correct amount in their eyes is actually not the correct amount, but that's a toll totally different conversation. And again, we're gonna go over that a little bit later. Lost our expired red card. Dashing with a red card allows you to unlock additional orders from a wider variety of merchants. Without a red card, you will either need to decline all orders that require a red card, minimize your earning potential, or pay for those orders yourself, and then contact support to submit a receipt for reimbursement. Okay, first of all, the latter, where you request for a reimbursement, Never do that, ever. I, I'm very serious about that. I did that a total of one time and they gave me the hardest time in the world. It is never worth it. Don't do that. And honestly, if I have to fight that hard to get paid the amount that they said they were gonna pay me, it's never worth it at all. It almost cost me $23 to complete their order because they couldn't do their freaking job. And the point about minimizing your earning potential, the orders that you'll receive may not be orders you wanna do anyway. They're trying to manipulate you into doing orders that a lot of people wouldn't wanna do anyway. Don't let them gaslight you like that. For these reasons, many dashers order a spare red card as a backup. Actually speaking, that's a good tip though. If you do end up doing red card orders, it's good to have the one that's on your account and a spare. Not to mention if you leave the card someplace and somebody else picks it up, your account's gonna be in danger overall. So it may not be a bad idea just to have two or three or something like that. How do you report your red card as lost or expired? iOS, log into your Dasher app and click account in the bottom bar. At the top of the screen, tap lost or expired red card to remove it from your Dasher account. Tap yes, it's lost slash expired. Android, lock into your Dasher app and click menu in the upper left hand corner. Under account, tap red card. Tap mark as lost on the next screen. Which you guys should know how to navigate your apps either way. How to get a free replacement red card. Visit the DoorDash store and select Dasher gear. Scroll down and select the red card that suits your region. Select the preferred for shipping method and quantity and click add to cart. And I'm gonna leave links to that in the description so that way you can save yourself some time and order them that way as well. My red card was declined. Follow these troubleshooting steps. Most orders do not require red card payment. Confirm that your Dasher app is directing you to use the red card to pay for the order. And if so, confirm with the merchant that it is being swiped as a credit card. So just double check they're charging it as credit and then move on to step two. Sign out of your Dasher account and uninstall the app from your phone. Turn off your phone for at least three minutes before attempting to reinstall the app. Honestly, nine times out of 10, that's not even the issue. The issue is, is that the funds aren't right and you should probably contact support either way. If you are still having trouble, you can use self-help to try to resolve the issue. In the upper right-hand corner of the app, tap helps, iPhone or question mark for Android. Select red card decline to follow the on-screen instructions to resolve the issue. And again, I would still just contact support. Still having trouble? reach out to support by tapping question mark, tap start chat, or tap something else. Or, you know, you could call them, but they don't want to advertise that because they don't want you to actually talk to a person because then they're exposed for being really bad at their job. But who am I to say that, right? Now, I do have a few side notes that I want to go over on this subject. Two types of orders. We touched on this already, but there are really three types of orders on this subject really, but two types that you're going to deal with more frequently. The first is the place and pay, where you actually have to go there, place the order, have them make it, and then actually leave with it. But those orders are never, ever worth it. I say don't do that 
at all. Number two is pay on arrival, which is really the same thing as above because a lot of times they didn't even receive the order. So it's not worth it. And then there's the shop and pay order where you're going into CVS or Walgreens and you go in, you pick up everything and then you use the red card to check out. That's why I say it's really two types of orders because one and two are the same thing. And the third is a completely different order altogether. Risk of deactivation. Listen to me. Anytime you use the red card, they are going to try to claim that it was fraud on your part. I don't know why it's always the case, but they really do. And it's really more because of inflation, but DoorDash is going to think, oh, you overcharged the car. No, inflation's a pain in the butt. Now, if you're the type of person that's trying to sneak on items and charge it to the customer, that's not a good idea. Don't do that. That actually is fraud. But in most cases, it's because DoorDash didn't do their crap right. So they're going to claim it's fraud on your part. If you want to keep doing orders that use the red card, by all means, I personally wouldn't. Unreasonable wait time. Anytime you use an order that is not a shop and pay order, and it's mainly waiting on them to do their job, the wait time's usually completely unreasonable. Because they don't even start until you get there half the time, and the other half of the time they didn't receive the order, whether they did because that's what they said, or they didn't because they are not really on DoorDash anyway, but DoorDash is putting them on against their will. You can end up waiting at the restaurant for a really long time, and that's not worth it. Makes a terrible ROT or return on time, and I would just avoid orders like that. Do you need the red card? Honestly, you don't really need the red card. Personally, I've always avoided most orders that use the red card. Sometimes there's a shop and pay that I would think is worth it, but nine times out of 10, I'm not doing those either. So do you need it? Not necessarily. Is it good to have? Yes. Did I miss anything? Is there anything else about the DoorDash red card itself that I did not cover in this video. Let me know in the comments. Let's make sure that anybody who's about to hop onto the DoorDash platform is totally prepared to utilize or not utilize the DoorDash red card on the DoorDash platform. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.